What is up YouTube? So last week I didn't release any custom video. The reason being is that I was still customizing this pair of Air Force One shoes, which you're gonna see in this video. These shoes are my most detailed shoe as of to date, and I'm so proud of the way they came out. Now, at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you an extreme close up of the details on the flowers, on the leaves, on the birds, just so you guys can get a sense of how much effort I placed onto these shoes when I was customizing them. Alternatively, there will be some missing time lapse footage of me painting certain areas, such as the background and some of the birds. Not to worry, if you go onto my IG, TV on my Instagram you'll be able to see me explaining how I go about painting the background on the birds for this specific customs and while you're there if you want to keep up on a daily basis on the progression of any of my current customizations or shoes that I'm working on my Instagram is the place to be so give me a follow and without any further delay let's get straight into the video all right so first things first as you can see I'm outlining the birds the leaves and the flowers so that I can have an aesthetic realism and composition when it comes to the birds, the leaves and the flowers. I didn't want to overwhelm the shoe with a lot of designs which could make the shoe feel as if it's been overdone and there's too much going on with the shoe. However, I wanted to have as much realism and realistic detail as possible when it comes to each and every individual design. Now the goal with this specific part of the shoe was that I wanted it to be vibrant, colorful and instantaneously noticeable as you go around the shoe. I wanted the leaves and the flowers to lean towards the more colorful side rather than the more realistic side. Alright so the biggest struggle I faced with this specific area of the shoe was trying to push the colorfulness of the birds, the leaves and the flowers while also making everything not look as if it's just a combination of random colors and it looks like a rainbow. As you can see, I'm using very vibrant colors such as pink, orange, blue, metallic green, red. I'm using colorful that really stand out rather than colors that are really dull like brown, dark brown, dark green. Now since this design will dominate the shoe toe box, I wanted it to be more realistic for multiple angles. Your girl gives the best hugs. Oh, 
all right so when you're viewing the design from the top facing downwards as if you're wearing the shoe the birds the leaves and the flowers are facing your orientation so it feels as if you're looking at them rather than the birds and the leaves just being on the shoe bussy yeah can i get whatever i want alternatively when you're looking at the design while you're not wearing the shoe i also still wanted the the birds the leaves and the flowers to still face your orientation so as you were turning the shoe the orientation also turns to match the way you're looking at the shoe that was really a big goal when i was designing the composition of the birds now for the side panel area of the shoe i wanted to have a lot of things happening overall unlike the front of the shoe whereby it's just one specific design i wanted this side area to be more realistic with the birds and the flowers however i also wanted there to be a lot of variety of colors can i get whatever i want can i get whatever i need oh oh Connection we share, your hands to my hips, my tongue to your lips. I'm losing my grip, I must be tripping. I don't see you for who you were or who you could be. I see you for who you are and who you are to me, and other things it could be now i'm preparing to go in and on the flowers i'm outlining and i'm removing the black outlines that i did earlier on the reason why i did a black outline is to get an idea where the actual flower ends and which flower is in front of the other one this current flower that i'm doing i really didn't want any blacks in it so compared to the other ones there's a lot of black strands to you know emphasize the shadows and the details but this one i really wanted to primarily stick with only red pink and a little bit of a darker shade of red i would say burgundy i really wanted to use those three colors to really pull out the flowers instead of using a darker color like black or brown to give that a little bit of contrast now with this this specific flower i did use white a lot to really emphasize on the different individual leaves on the outskirts of the leaves as well and then later on i just went back and colored in the green leaves on the outside like i said earlier that i will show you a close-up of how i go about you know how i go about getting the details on the green leaves so stick to the end if you want to see that part of the video Joy might be broken so don't try to fix me Smoking, I'm running in circles, how it likes to trick me. 
Oh, 